That's test. This is a test. Today's date is November 14, 2017. This is a committee hearing on landmarks being recorded by Sergeant of Arms Edwin Lopez. Good morning, I'm Councilmember Ku, Chair of the Subcommittee on Landmarks, Public Siting, and Maritime Uses. We are joined by Council Members Palmer, Mendez, and Rose. Today, we will be hearing the destination by LPC pursuant to Section V020 of the New York City Charter of the Old St. James Episcopal Church, now the St. James, now the Old St. James Parish Hall, located at 8602 Broadway, AKA 85-08 51st Avenue, Block 1549, uh, PO Lot 1, SN Exterior Lemma. Built in 1735 to 36, Old St. James Episcopal Church <laughs> is significant. <coughs> for its association with the early colonial settlement of Queens and with the mission activity of the Church of England in the American colonies, a remarkable colonial-era mission church. It retains its early 18th century rectangular box-like form, wood shingle siding, one arch windows and heavy timber framing is New York City's oldest Church of England building and the city's second oldest religious building that is still standing. The church is in Councilmember Drum's district. He has submitted a letter in support of the destination for the record. We are hearing the proposed destination P. Consider. We have Kay Lemos Mahel from LPC and Ali Wasuling Linja from LPC to testify. Yeah. Please identify yourself and you can start. Okay. Uh, thank you. I'm Kate Lemus McHale, Director of Research at the Landmarks Preservation Commission, and with me is Ali Rasulinejad, our Director of Community and Intergovernmental Affairs. Good afternoon, Chair Ku and committee members. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to testify on the Commission's individual landmark designation of the Old St. James Episcopal Church, located at 8602 Broadway in Queens, Block 1549, Lot 1 in part. On September 19, 2017, the New York City Landmarks Preservation Commission unanimously voted to designate the Old St. James Episcopal Church as a New York City individual landmark. During a public hearing on August 8, 2017, the commission heard testimony from two representatives of the owner, the Episcopal Diocese of Long Island, and their architect, CWB Architects, in addition to the New York Landmarks Conservancy, Historic Districts Council, and the Society for the Architecture of the City, all in support of designation. In addition, we received letters of support from several uh, local organizations and from the local council member, uh, Daniel Drum. Old St. James Episcopal Church is located on the corner of Broadway and 51st Avenue in Elmhurst, Queens. Built in 1735 to 36, the building is historically significant for its association with the colonial settlement of Queens, 
and with the beginnings of the Protestant Episcopal Church in New York. It is architecturally significant as an early 18th century timber frame meeting house that was updated in 1883 with stick style and Gothic revival features. Founded <clears throat> in 1652, Newtown, shown in the map on the left, was one of the first towns in Queens County. Early settlers of different denominations in Newtown Village shared community buildings and ministers for religious services. That changed in 1735 when the Church of England built a mission church specifically for the Anglican community, today's Old St. James Church. The building sits on its original site in the heart of Newtown Village, which is now Elmhurst. The drawing on the right shows this church in 1773 as viewed from Broadway. At that time, it had classic meeting house form with a tower and steeple at its rear, which was the West End. Following the Revolutionary War, the parish became one of the earliest members of the New York Protestant Episcopal Diocese. In 1848, the parish constructed a new St. James Church, shown at the upper left of this 1850 image, with two towers. Old St. James Church, uh, shown near the center of the drawing, became a chapel and parish hall at this time. In 1883, the parish remodeled their church hall, updating it with stick style and Gothic details. They added the gable end truss, pointed arch windows within the original round arch openings along the sides, brackets along the eaves, and drip molding. They also added a shed roof porch at the entry and a small rear addition that replaced uh, the tower, which had been damaged. These changes reflected the popularity of 19th century medieval revival details in this instant to update the appearance of the small wood building. Uh, these are two images showing uh, the church before and after a restoration that it underwent in 2004. Um, the building continued to serve the parish and the community as a meeting house, meeting hall in the 20th century. As seen in the view on the left by the 1970s, asbestos shingles covered the historic wood shingles and some decorative twin trim had been removed. In 2004, the exterior was restored to its 1883 appearance with, with the help of grants from the Landmarks Conservancy and other funding sources. This 280-year-old former church, which retains both 18th and 19th century character and historic fabric, is New York City's second oldest religious building. Predating St. Paul's Chapel in Manhattan, it is also the oldest Church of England building still standing in the city. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So I was just curious myself. So, uh, which church is the oldest one? I found the um, oldest is actually the uh, Friends Meeting House. Yeah, yeah, Flushing. Yeah, yep. which yep. is a uh, district I yeah. represent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Quaker House was built in 1694. That's right. Like, yeah. Seventy-four, forty-one years before yep. this uh, second oldest church. So, we have any questions for LPC, uh, Katie? Ms. King, no? Any questions, no? Okay, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Are there members of the public uh, who wish to testify on the old St. James Neymar destination? Seeing none. I will close the public hearing on this item. Today we will be voting on the old St. James landmark and we will also be voting on LU-791, the New York City Emergency Management Warehouse Acquisition at 930 uh, Fushion Avenue, which we previously held a meeting on. New York City Emergency Management already leases space at this location for storage of specialized emergency vehicles and supplies and maintains an office area as a backup emergency operation center in case of the main facility at 165 Cameron Plaza East becomes unavailable. The additional space that this application will allow the city to lease 
is needed for storage of additional emergency equipment and supplies and to fully build out the backup EOC. Council Member Reynoso is in support of this acquisition. <coughs> Council, please call the vote on the vote to approve uh, be considered LU landmark designation of the St. James Episcopal, Episcopal Church exteriors and LU-791, the emergency management warehouse. Ku. I will aye. Palmer. <coughs> Mendez. <coughs> Levin. I will aye. Rose. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, with zero abstentions, the items are recommended for approval and referred to the full land use <coughs> committee. I will leave the vote open for uh, uh, for another presenter, and well, we expect uh, Councilmember Kalos will be here to vote. And I want to ask uh, Councilmember Le Levin to uh, hold on to hold this committee until he comes. Sure thing. Yeah, thank you. 